patients who get shoulder replacement surgery are those who have pain that interferes with their daily lifestyle as a consequence of joint degeneration. So that could include people with osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, very bad rotator cuff tears, and bad fractures of the shoulder. The number of people each year who have this surgery is it's the third most common joint replacement uh, in the United States after total knee and total hip surgery. And it's the fastest growing show, uh, type of joint replacement surgery. Uh, and it's in the thousands of numbers and it's growing each year. Uh, after shoulder replacement surgery, patients might encounter the inability to regain their range of motion. They might not get all their strength back and those would ultimately interfere with their ability to function on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, the follow-up after shoulder replacement surgery isn't consistent. Some people might go to physical therapy, some people might not, and there is no standardized rehab protocol for shoulder replacement surgery at this point in time. What we're studying at this point in time is before patients go to surgery, what is their range of motion, what is their strength, how do they function, to see how that might influence their recovery after surgery. And then after surgery, we're looking at patients at different time intervals to look at when they get back their motion, when they get back their strength, and how they function so that we can ultimately coordinate our rehab um, to best aid the recovery after shoulder replacement surgery. The base case scenario from this study would be to determine what are the most important interventions in physical therapy so that we could have the data and the evidence to support a clinical trial to look at the best interventions to produce the best outcomes in this patient population. The best thing that patients can do after they have this surgery is communicate with their physician and find out what exercises and activities they can participate in. And if they're not going to physical therapy, ask their physician if they would benefit from that type of intervention.